everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomai TV. Stand by for a fake Bakugan toy review. Yeah, some of you guys may remember Bakugan, where those it's a game, it was a game, card game, and you use these marbly things and you roll them over these cards and they pop open because they've got magnets in them. See? Well, I mean, four years ago, five years ago, th that was a phenomenon. It was big, big, and then it crashed. But Bakugan is coming back. Maybe this year, maybe next year. I expect to have news about Bakugan at the New York, uh, uh, no, the Tokyo Toy Fair in June. But, so anyway, because of that, because of that, I saw, I saw this fake bootleg Bakugan for sale out in the jungle. And I thought, well, why not? Let's talk about it. Let's get back in the mood for Bakugan. We'll talk about it. But don't be buying this fake stuff, okay? Let's get a good look. Yeah, so see on the front it says, Explode Ball. Superpower Explode Ball. What are you thinking? It's not Bakugan Explode Ball. Can't you read? Can't somebody make something called Explode Ball and people don't call it Bakugan and a ripoff fake? You people are so cruel. And even it's uh, oh, Explode Ball. Okay, kind of. Explode Ball. Let us go. Let us go. Everybody says that. Let us go. Let us go. No? All right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is this? This looks like the official Bakugan logo, and it says Bakugan. I take that back. This is a blatant, despicable, rip-off, bootleg, copy, toy made in China. They're so evil. Yeah. So, yeah, and you see the back. They've got several others. And actually, uh, I believe I've got three of these to show off. Uh, and they're showing that this is a large version, right? It's a copy of the Sega Bakugan Bakumorph Helix Dragonoid. Some of these are being sold online for like $67, but don't. Uh, no. Uh, and one site said it was released in March of 2010. So I said Bakugan was six or seven. Bakugan is more like 10 years old. It's been that long. Wow. All right. Well, you want, you want to get, by the way, and you've got these attributes, right? Uh, Pyrus, fire, ventrous, wind, darkest, uh, darkness. Uh, and this seems to be, well, I don't know yet. I don't know what, I don't know yet. I'll check. I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll figure this out when we open it. You ready to open it up? Okay. 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 So I've got him out of the box. I'm going to have to hold him standing up here because he doesn't, he doesn't stand up by himself very well at all. But I mean, the original figure is probably pretty, pretty uh, kick butt. And look, he's got this wicked tail on the back and this little spiky thing. And it, it, it's fairly well articulated on its own. You got these big wing flap things and you got this horn, you know, on his head and all that. His arms, uh, something weird. This is look like his thumb is down here. This is my right hand and this is his right hand. It looks like his thumb is on the bottom. I think it's supposed to be in the top. So I think they got the arms wrong. Uh, it's the same way here, too. <laughs> and uh, he's got an extra feature. I don't, think, I don't think the Sega version has this. Watch. Watch. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! We got to do a, a low light test, okay? Hey, look, he's standing up. Commence low light testing! Whoa. Wow! Wow, and it does come with some directions. This is, is this Russian or Eastern, some Eastern European language, but the rest of the instructions are in English. So I guess I'll be able to morph them. Also, they do give you this fake, the fake gate card, and it even has a code on the back for the Bakugan website. I wonder if they're still operating. And uh, I can tell from the thickness that it does have the metal in here that you need to pop this. So this must, pop open and then and they suggest so in the instructions as well. So we'll try that. So okay. So I'm gonna try and, and put this together using the instructions. So don't don't go away. Okay, after a major effort, I managed to get this into a ball form, more or less. Yeah. You know, his arm kept popping off, so I just left it out. 
And I feel bad because I was going to give this to a little neighbor boy, but if his arm's going to keep popping off, I don't know if it'd be nice to give it to him. What do you think? So, and by the way, I'm pretty sure this is the uh, symbol of the attribute. They have these symbols, right, for all the attributes. This is the Pyrus fire, and it's usually red, yellow, and orange. So, obviously, yeah, these guys are fire. So, it's supposed to activate, it's supposed to pop open if we roll it over the card. So, shall I try it? I, I'll just try it live right here. We'll see, okay? All right, well, that didn't work. How about if I just do that? No, no, where's the magnet? Oh, there, I tried to do it there, see? there. That's where the magnet is. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, <laughs> kind of weak. The, the little ones, the, the small, the basic uh, original ones pop open usually pretty good, although you have to complete the, the opening. See, now, now it doesn't. But it does have some springs in here, and uh, let's try it one more time. Hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll stop there. Hit that subscribe button down there. Use the notify feature. Click the bell. Let me know in the comments, and I will try to give you a shout out. And until next time, have a great day. No one I know is how to kill me. Doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions. Just an empty head filled with the sky. I separated my life between the boring.